Must be something in the water out in Frankmouth because when you go out there, you stay a while, uh, as evidenced by our two previous Frankmouth inductees, uh, Whitey Wilson and Marco Marset. They go there, they stay a long time, and Art Pelzer is no different. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Art Pelzer. So many stories. Uh, first of all, I'm really pleased and honored that Art asked me to say a few words on his behalf tonight because back when we were working together, he just told me to sit on the bench and be quiet. That <laughs> <laughs> was the best way not to screw things up, I think. Also, uh, when you invite people from Florida up here uh, in November, it's like it's the end of the world. But for Mr. and Mrs. Pelzer, it was 65 degrees today, so no complaints. <laughs> Most of this is prepared by the Pelzers and uh, with some throw-ins by me. First of all, Art wants to thank you all for coming. You're probably all here because you wanted to be. I'm here, he's here, because his wife made him. <laughs> she wanted a new dress but Art's not complaining because he got a new pair of socks. <laughs> Art would like to first of all congratulate all of the class of 2011, most deserving each and every one of them. Thank you also to the Saginaw County Sports Hall of Fame, its board of directors and lifetime voting members. And then he thanked some guy who did something, and we'll skip over that. Uh, <clears throat> When, uh, when I told him how many people that were talking about coming to this, uh, he says, I, I admit, I was surprised, a little skeptical that they would really show up. I mean, it was Sunday afternoon, NFL football. Those of us from Frank and Muth know it's open gym. Uh, and uh, getting dressed up and sitting here, uh, he said, I know where I'd be. But you did. And so he thanks you for that. First of all, there are so many former players, their parents, teammates, players from rec leagues that are in attendance tonight, as well as Art's former athletic director who's already been introduced once, but I will mention him again, Mr. Marco Marcet. Uh, Art worked under Marco for several years out at Frankenmuth. I want to thank all of you for taking time. In this day of electronic newspapers, the Pelzers are able to keep up with Frank Muth High School uh, sports in Lady Lake, Florida. And he wanted to make a special acknowledgement to head coach Tom Keller and his assistant Missy Pippert, who are here tonight. Uh, he's, he, he looks at that and it uh, says that it, they're carrying on the same winning tradition, so he appreciates that. Art was hired right out of college and stayed until he retired in 1991. And Art and I have known each other for nearly 50 years now. And uh, he really liked it in Frankenmuth, but they really love it in Florida. <laughs> One of the benefits of teaching in Frankenmuth at the time was that at Christmas time, all teachers got a case of beer from Carlingsbury. <laughs> Art was most thankful for that. <laughs> Art, by his own admission, did not go into uh, teaching so he could coach. There are several versions of how this all happened. Uh, he was asked by the administration initially if he would run the summer program because they didn't have anybody. Then some of those players that you saw, one of them that you saw in the video, apparently her group of friends got together and uh, asked Coach Pelzer to take the girls, but we want you to coach us the same way you coach the boys. And after a 
and with a winning percentage of 906, it appears that he, he did as they asked. Coaching girls, as you heard, is a lot different than coaching boys. Um, in the state finals one year, Art had a starter who wasn't playing very well. And he went to her, and he took her out, and he substituted for her. And he said, you go sit down there. Art was a big believer in the be bench as a disciplinarian. He said, you go sit down there on the edge of the bench, end of the bench, and let me know when you're ready to play. Time went by, time went by, and she's still sitting down there. <laughs> Art went down to her and said, I ask you to tell me when you're ready. She said, I'm not ready. There are so many people to thank when, when you are successful. Uh, Art's success as a coach was for a couple of reasons. In his own way, and if you know Arthur, this sounds exactly like him, his response was, because I'm good. <laughs> also, and I'll use the term we here, we are very blessed in Frankenmuth to have not only talented athletes, but intelligent ones. It's made our job a lot easier uh, when you have those kind of athletes. Also, the second reason that he was successful is because he surrounded himself with good people and the people who did the things that made his program successful. But the reason he's probably the most successful, and you've all heard this statement, Behind every successful man, there's a beautiful, talented, hardworking woman. Well, all are true in this case. For all these ladies that are out here who had Mrs. P for phys ed, uh, she was the buffer between the head coach and the players. Uh, and she had a philosophy. I don't really care you're all, that you're all upset with Coach Pelzer. You only got to live with him for two hours a day. <laughs> I have to live with him the other 22. <laughs> and in regards to Mr. and Mrs. Pelzer, it's a completely unique re relationship that they had in being the phys ed teachers in Frankenmuth. Not only did they both coach, his wife was a cheerleading coach at one time, coached some track. But he was on one side of the gym, and she was on the other side of the gym teaching phys ed. And they did many things to terrorize their girls, such as wearing their famous Larry Bird t-shirts, and those kids did not like those Larry Bird t-shirts. As I stated, there are several people that, that uh, we need to thank. Um, Former coaches, Ruthie Elbers List is here tonight. She did freshmen. Stephanie Largest Rummel's here tonight. Uh, she did freshmen. As I mentioned, Tom Keller and Missy Pippert are here. Um, a couple of his JV coaches were myself and G. Grassi, who was here tonight. Not only was uh, Art fortunate enough to have uh, G and I as his JV coaches, uh, freshman and a JV coach, uh, he is very pleased that our daughter, Anne, could play pretty well. And G's daughter, Christina, was a first-team All-Stater. So I don't know if there's any correlation that we coached and he got our daughters. I don't know how that worked, but it worked out pretty well. Hang on. I, I would like to say that uh, uh, Jim, my uh, coach for J JVs, he had, uh, uh, what did I say, 200, no, 100 and, uh, yeah, yeah. tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what he's saying. We, we were very fortunate. Uh, at one time between G. Grassi and myself coaching JVs, I'm almost done, Don. Uh, in coaching junior varsity girls basketball, between G. Grassi and myself, the girls junior varsity basketball team at Frankenmuth won 177 games in a row. That's not a joke, that's not a lie, that's a fact. So to those former coaches, uh, 
we all know Chuck Daly when the Pistons won uh, the NBA championship, they said to him, why do you have these really good coaches around you? Aren't you afraid they're going to get your job? And he said, I want the best people around me that I can have. The community of Frankenmuth has always backed its athletes. And there's no exception when you look around tonight and see some of the people that are attending here. These are people that have followed Frank Luth girls basketball for years. Again, I have one more Art Pelzer story, but I want to thank you all for coming on Art and Penny's behalf, and uh, congratulations again to the other inductees. One of the things that you, if you read anything about Frank Luth girls basketball, you will find out that there were numerous concerns that Coach Pelzer never ran a set offense. What offense do you run, Coach? Do you run Connecticut? Do you run Michigan? Do you run this? Do you run that? Art says, we don't have a set offense. We have two guards and three people under the basket. In 1992, he won a state championship. And again, as time goes by, some of these stories get changed a little bit. But the, the crux of it was this reporter came up to Art and said, look, it, it, it's, you've won your championship. Tell us what the secret is to your success. You don't run a set offense. What's the secret? So Art, with his own wonderful set of humor, called the guy over, got down right next to his ear and said, we outscored our opponents. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're going to go this way. You're going to go this way. Get focused. You're going to take you back to the stage.